Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to make use of hidden field in HP.NET Core Razor pages. Before beginning the video, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the link for the code sample is available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's begin our video tutorial. First, I'll add a model class to our project. So I'll right click on the models folder and select add new item. Then I'll select class. I'll be giving it a suitable name such as person model class. Then I'll click on add. Now I'll add some properties to it. Meanwhile, I would like to inform you that if you are unable to understand ASP.NET Core Razor pages, please check out the Hello World tutorial video. The link for the video is available in the description. Now here you will notice that I am making use of an attribute bind property. It is used to map request parameters, which means let's say you have a text box and on button click you want to fetch the value of that particular text box. So you can create a property and then map it to the text box. And in the text box, you will specify the name attribute and set its value to the name of the property. So for example, here there is a property name person ID. So the text box name attribute value will be also person ID. So now we'll add a razor page to our project. So from the context menu, you need to select razor page, select the option and click on add. Here you need to specify a name for the razor page. So the view is ready. First I'll inherit the tag helper classes of the ASP.NET Core. So in the view, we'll start by adding a form. So the very first attribute is method. We'll set it as post. Now I'm adding a table element in which I'll add the fields and also the button. So the very first field is a text box for first name. I'm setting the ID for the text box. Now I'm setting the name attribute for the text box. Here the name attribute is very important because on the server side, this particular field value will be accessed using the name value or in other words, the name attribute value. So the second field is last name and here also I'll give it a unique ID and a unique name attribute value. Now I'm adding a submit button and for that I'm making use of input element and I'm setting the type as submit. Now I'm making use of ASP page handler attribute and I'm setting its value as submit. This particular attribute is used for specifying the handler method. So it is very similar to the on click attribute of the ASP.NET web form framework. So basically when this particular submit button is clicked, this particular handler method will be called. So now let's move to the page model class. Now inside the page model class, the first thing I'm doing is adding a person model class property and this particular property will be used to fetch the data from the razor page when the form is submitted. And also in this particular scenario, I am initializing the person model class property inside the on get handler method. So as you can see, I'm setting the person ID property value as one. So when the page is loaded in browser and if you do a view source, you will notice that the value of the hidden field is already set as one. So here you will notice that this particular bind property attribute works two way. Like you can set the values plus you can fetch the values. Now here I'll be adding another handler method on post submit. Here on post prefix is required before the method name and it is not required to specify in the razor page inside the ASP page handler attribute. 
now here inside the on post submit handler method i am fetching the value of the person property into an object so that we can see what are the values received from the razor page now again let's move back to the razor page now here i'll be adding a hidden field this particular hidden field will be used to hold the value of the person id and here also i'll be setting the name attribute plus i'll be setting another attribute which is called as asp4 attribute asp4 attribute is used to set a value for a particular field so in this case it will be fetching the value from the person id field so as you can see i am setting the value as person dot person id so here person is the name of the property which i'll be creating in the index model class now again let's move back to the index model class where i'll be putting a breakpoint so that we can see the values on runtime so as you can see i am putting a breakpoint inside the on post submit handler method and now i'll run the project now i'll be entering the values first name and last name and i'll click on submit as you can see the breakpoint has been hit and we have received all the three values including the person id so with this we come to the end of this particular video tutorial so today we learned how to make use of hidden field in asp.net core razor pages we also learned how to set value of the hidden field from the server side using model classes also we learned how to receive the value of the hidden field when a form submission happens thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye